Here are seven AI tools that will turn you into a design wizard. First up, we have Agent GPT. It's basically your personal agent, except this one's not trying to kill you. But all you gotta do is just give it a name, give it a prompt, and then you'll have an underpaid robot working for you instantly. It creates tasks for itself to complete the main task that you gave it, and it will do everything automatically on its own. But the only thing is, because it's in beta, there is a limited bandwidth unless you use its API on your own platform, and it can only run for a certain amount of time, but at the moment it's free, so I recommend giving it a go. The cool thing is you can actually create content IDs, you can give it general tasks, you can do uh, a bit of you know text outlines and stuff like that. Next up, we've got Vectorizer AI. Now this tool allows designers to convert any image into a vector format. Now it's useful when the client sends you a pixelated image from Microsoft Word when you ask for a high res file. It converts PNG or JPEG into EPS or SVG, which is basically a scalable vector format. So I can open it up in Illustrator, which saves me tons of time. Or if I wanna use it for a website, you know, I'm gonna use the SVG file. The tool's free and you can use it. So give it a crack. You can see me drag and drop the NASA logo here in the pixelated version from the factorized version. There's a major difference. You can see the quality is actually high detail and I can just easily click the button, down the button and boom, I've got a file and I can open up super easy. Now this one's called Flare AI. It's basically like Photoshop and Blender blended together, but it's just a bit faster. It generates quick scenes for your 3D design mockups using templates. I can import a custom 3D design. Maybe I made a design in Photoshop and I want to bring it in. I can totally do that. And you can use the built-in templates as well if you want to save time. What I like is you can customize the backgrounds and scenes with single prompts and it'll do a pretty darn good job. Now the render quality makes it look like you just did a photo shoot in the Swiss Alps without even lifting a finger. You can upscale the images to 2K to get this crispy, crispy pixels popping or you can just generate new scenes with one click of the templates. You can see me here playing around with some of the built-in assets. You can drag and drop stuff. You can bring them to the back or front. So you got that layer functionality and then I can generate multiple options and I can move them around, click delete if I don't want that. I can also use my mouse to zoom in and out and I can easily change the prompts. If I want a different background, just mix it up. If I want to get a different scene altogether, all I've got to do is just click a different template and it'll keep the same layout that I've chosen with my object and it will make a totally different scene. So it's got a free trial, you can check it out. I think it's really good. Next up, we've got Monica. It's a Google extension and she's sort of like that nerdy friend that loves reading those long articles while you're sitting in the library, sipping on your coffee, pretending to do some work. She can summarize articles for you. She can write emails to clients who haven't paid you for weeks. And if you need help crafting a scary email to get your money back, she's got you covered. It's all in the browser. You can customize the settings to have it on the left sidebar or the right sidebar. You can click Command M to open it as well as a quick little shortcut. She can make outlines. She can create dot points from the summaries. She can also compose simple text just like ChatGPT can do, but it's just all in the browser and it's just easier to use on the side when maybe you need to write something really quickly. Next up, we've got Name Licks. There are times where your client has no ideas for their brand or business, right? So typically, what I'll do is like come up with a brand name and have a process. But if you're if you don't have a process, then you can use Name Licks. It's actually pretty useful because it gives you hundreds of names straight from the robot's brain. And all you got to do is just feed it some branded keywords, choose a style that you like, and then it's going to generate hundreds of names. And I just like it how it loads it up. And if I really like a name, I can click register. It's gonna take me to namecheap.com. To be honest, it doesn't sound too legit that site, but hey, if you're a Notion user, this tool will skyrocket your productivity. It's actually the Notion AI. And as a designer, I have lots of ideas, but sometimes it's hard to put them into ideas and outlines and clear points. So Notion can create simple outlines. It can summarize text. It can also expand upon text. It can it can actually change the tone of voice of the text as well. Next, we've got Fireflies AI. Now, if you never wanna forget what your client said in that discovery call, this app is for you. It's got a free version, which is great. They do have an upgraded version, which is great if you're a full-time freelancer. Fireflies will save so much time. It records the whole meeting and it takes notes for you. But the cool thing is it will summarize it in a simple, concise way. Main key points from the conversation, if you talk to about, you know, money or a brand deal. It will also analyze the tone of voice. It was at a positive tone while speaking. Well, maybe you're talking too angry and next time you need to work on that. It will give you an option to create sound bites. So maybe a client said something and you want to grab that nugget. You can set that up and do a sound bite and then you can just save that to your computer, which is super dope. It's a great tool because it integrates right into Zoom. I don't have to do anything. All I got to do is connect my email and my Google Calendar 
and it will just join the call when I jump into Zoom automatically. Just wait when the call is done. Once it's finished rendering and everything, it's just gonna email me with the summary, click on it. Those are the top AI tools right now that I think you should use as a designer. If you wanna see me create a logo design using 50 different generators, then click on this video to see if logo design generators are any good.